Hi, so given that I will be doing different safety reviews on popular essential oil blends that you have requested, and I'll be sharing with you whether or not certain blends may or may not be safe for certain people, whether they're not recommended in pregnancy or with kids, I thought that I would create this little video to share with you a little bit about my training, how I determine whether an essential oil is safe or not for certain people, as well as other factors people may consider in regards to safety because essential oil safety is not black and white. And when I create these videos of safety reviews, whether essential oil is safe or not recommended for people, it's not to tell people to do something or not to do something. The point of these videos is to really provide you with knowledge and guidelines because knowledge is power and guidelines can be extremely helpful. So my program in school is accredited and approved by many aromatherapy associations. Two of the most popular ones being the National Association of Holistic Aromatherapy and the Alliance of International Aromatherapists. My program being recognized at the highest level in these aromatherapy associations, so a level three at Naha. And at my school, we do look at different sources and research, but we tend to defer to Tisserin and Yang. So this shapes a lot of the way that we view essential oil safety and how to use essential oil safely. So some other factors to consider when it comes to aromatherapy and using essential oils safely. From aromatherapy professional to another aromatherapy professional, sometimes you may see different discrepancies on essential oil safety. There are some things that are subjective that I wouldn't say are necessarily right or wrong, and there are some things that I would say are just right or wrong. Sometimes people are not referring to the most updated research or just may be mistaken, but generally speaking, a lot of English-speaking aromatherapists will be on the same page when it comes to essential oil safety and how to use essential oil safely. However, something that I feel like a lot of aromatherapists don't acknowledge is that the way that aromatherapists in France, so French aromatherapists and English-speaking aromatherapists, the way that they use essential oils and the way they view safety, it is different. So that's something to consider as well. And that's not to say that one is right and one is wrong, but that is something that I'd like for you guys to be aware of, that it can differ depending on culture and language as well. That being said, when I present safety information, it is really reflective of my training, the philosophies and essential oil usages promoted by my school, which is an English speaking school in North America. And I present all the knowledge to the best of my ability. However, like I'd mentioned, I do fully acknowledge that there are different ways of using essential oils, different philosophies and guidelines when it comes to essential oil safety. And like mentioned in my other video, French aromatherapy versus English aromatherapy, how it affects how I use essential oils, I really find myself in between these two cultures and the ways of using essential oils. Feel free to check out the link down below to view that video if that's something that interests you. But how do I determine whether or not an essential oil blend is safe for a person or not? At our school, how we view this is of course, we defer to Tisserin and his research on whether an essential oil is safe for a person who it's not safe for. And then when we are looking at an entire blend of essential oils, which contains multiple essential oils, we look at the safety considerations and safety profile of each essential oil in that blend. And if there is an essential oil in that blend that is not safe for someone, so let's say an essential oil is not safe in pregnancy and it's contained in a blend as a whole, we generally will say that that blend itself is not recommended in pregnancy if there's one essential oil that is not. So by looking at the individual essential oils in each blend, that will help us determine whether the blend itself is safe for a person. Of course, this is not black and white. There are exceptions, and this is just generally speaking, but this will provide you a general understanding of whether or not that blend should be used for certain people or not. So in a nutshell, I provide these safety videos to help empower you to have as much knowledge as possible and to help provide you with helpful guidelines. But at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to do your own research to decide what is safe for you and your family. And these videos are for informational purposes only. Want to check out some of the safety reviews I've already done? Click on this video playlist right here, or this video down here might be a video you'll enjoy. Let me know down in the description if there are any essential oil blends you'd like me to do a safety review on. Bye.